table I've had for about 10 years now, but uh, to be able to do this project I wanted to get it very level and more stout, so I added uh, some legs right in the center, cut out my level, four foot level, and shimmed out all the leg bottoms as best I could. Put down a center line and this will be the very starting point of the frame. The vehicle will be in the end about this high. So it would have been nice to have a little lower table, maybe six or eight inches, but this will work. Here's the motor, 65 pound motor, oh man. So this is off of a Yamaha 185. There are all parts, wiring harness. So basically, the bike that I bought was an old one. It was a 1981, but it only had 1,400 miles on it, and it had been stored in the garage, which is a good find. So I'm getting away from all the pollution devices. Some of the parts, unfortunately, are going to be difficult to find once I decide to do some repairs, but there's always things on the internet, aftermarket things. I'm sure it'll be good. wheels. This guy and this guy, the rim anyway, was purchased uh, from a local used motorcycle shop. I wish I had looked at it closer when I went to have the new tire put on here. We found a crack in the rim. So that's garbage. Then when we got the tire mounted, I put an axle on this and spun it and realized it's not too true. Maybe I can get it trued up, I don't know, but spokes or nipples on the backside seem kind of a little rusty. It might be hard to turn them and tighten them. We'll see. Might have to opt to get new wheels. We'll see. Uh, anyway, I got another wheel coming uh, from eBay. Uh, there again, I never had my hands on it. I'm just going with the word of the previous owner that it's straight and true. We'll see. Bad, not bad. So my table is a four by eight table, and I just decided to hang the rear wheel off the table, make a brace cradle for it. So you can see I've got all kinds of uh, braces holding it in place, and it looks pretty square all the way around. This should do fine. This will be ground level. This will be the bottom of the frame. I have chosen seven and three quarter inches from. Uh, ground to the bottom of the frame. It'll be somewhere around there. I'm going to go to uh, my local used motorcycle shop now and see if I can find maybe a smaller wheel than this. This might work out fine. I mean, it's the original motorcycle wheel, but it's a 25 pound wheel and um, I'm hoping to get something a little lighter. Okay, I got my jig all set up. About ready to bend this. I'm going to put the seam, inside seam of the tube, on the underside. We'll see if this works. too happy with the bend. It was a little too shallow, so what I'm going to do is take my form. And I'm taking a little piece of wood. It's nice and flexible. Put two nails down 
right where I wanted to uh, curve more. Anyway, I already drew the line, but it's just a matter of kind of playing with it with your fingers, getting the curve that you want. Serious? What the fuck? Starting to look like something now. <laughs> Finally got my wheel in. Uh, purchased this one on eBay. The other one I bought was cracked the rim. So I'll take that over and get the tire slapped on there. And we'll have our wheels and tires. Then it'll be the frame. So anyway, the frame's coming out pretty good. I made a second bend and uh, came out pretty close. A little bit of tweaking on the second one. It should be identical to the last one that I made. Mm -hmm.